Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, today we're going back over to Beer 52 and this is taken from the Where Do I Have the Magazine and why could I not speak good England? Uh, let's see. Here we go. Good start. This is from the Raise the Bar box uh, which is August's box and um, yeah, so basically it's a lot of sort of newish breweries or sort of like unsung heroes um, like put themselves forward at the London Craft Beer Festival I think I'm making this up as I'm going along but we'll, we'll stick with it and uh, basically Beer 52 picked like the, the most deserving well I'm not sure what the criteria was and then they invited them to make beers with them so I think there's, there's three breweries in this box and a boxcar, I think it's four of their beers. So I probably won't review all four of them, but I'll definitely be reviewing at least two or three of them. Probably four of them. Who knows? I don't make the rules, I just break them. Anyway, so yeah, I've raised the bar box, and um, yeah, so boxcar. Not had anything from this brewery, heard a lot of good things about them though. And uh, this is a bottle of the Amarillo and Atsaka. IPA which is clocking in at 6.4% so the hops are of course Amarillo and Atzaka and the malts are Pilsner, Oats, Flaked Wheat and Dextrin the yeast is East Coast Ale and the uh, best before date is uh, 12th of the 7th 2019 bottled on the 12th of the 7th 2018 and this was brewed in Belgium at Blood Reambers so Boxcar and Beer 52 present a series of beers designed by Boxcar's head brewer and brewed by Brewery Anders in Belgium. So, um, yeah, looking forward to giving this one a try. Really nice sort of contemporary looking label. Almost reminds me of um, sort of like a, what you'd see on like a computer arts magazine cover or something like that. I don't know why, but um, yeah, really nice and modern. So let's see what we get. Uh, cap is on the floor, but it is just a silver cap. And as you can see, no expense spurred with my uh, stand today. We've got a Taft Power Max Struktur Her Putty thing from uh, Schwarzkopf, actually. So, um, yeah, look at that. So we can uh, do this professionally because it's about time I pull my finger out. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to put my link down below to uh, my Beer 52 referral link. So, can... that wasn't proper England, Peter, but um, I think I'm known for that now. And, uh, yeah, so if you're interested in trying out a box of these beers from Beer 52, then I'll put the link down below. You can get yourself a nice little box of beer, and it also helps me out as well, which is always greatly appreciated. So, um, yeah, another Beer 52 collaboration and uh, beer in a glass and that's uh, slightly hazy it's got a lovely sort of amber hue to it a little bit of a golden look so we've got like a, a marmalade-esque look to it from where i can see it looks a bit more golder on camera and the beer poured with a really nice reinforced one finger's worth of a sooty compressed looking head so anyway looks fantastic let's see what we get on the nose And it's got that really like powdery, floral, citrusy sort of aroma. A little bit of a dank, tropical tone in there. Loads of bruised fruit. There's a very subtle, oniony, garlicky esque aroma coming through on that dank edge. Put your nose right in it, get a proper sniff, get it all over your nose. When it goes up your nose, you're getting the best aromas, of course. But yeah, it's got that sort of like marmalade aroma as well a little bit of citrus it smells really nice actually so let's give it a taste cheers the first thing that hits you that is a bitter beer from start to finish which in this climate i think is a really good thing because i'm getting a bit burnt out by the like hazy juice bombs as much as i love them i think there's just too many breweries doing those beers and not all of them are inspired but this has got 
a really big dank edge to it. I wouldn't say it's got like West Coast sensibilities or anything like that, but it's definitely like in your face. A little bit of spice there. It's almost got like a rye character. In fact, like an enhanced and pronounced spicy rye tone. Almost to the point where it's like a, a dark, sweet aroma, a flavour. But yeah, it's like tropical marmalade on toast. Oh, on a rye. A little bit of a melon character coming through. Subtle sweetness, not too much. It's all about that bitterness with this beer. And I think that's probably the best part of it for me personally. Amarillo and Atsaka. I've had Atsaka before. I think it was a founder's beer. <coughs> where it just didn't really wow me too much. But you definitely get that like tropical tone from the uh, Amarillo. There's a very subtle... Uh, passion fruit tartness coming through also which complements really nicely with that spicy rye even though there's no rye malts in there it's got that sort of impression i've been eating loads of like rye bread recently trying to cut out the bread as much as i can but replacing like white pre-sliced loaves which don't get me wrong they make the best bacon sandwich let's be honest but i'm trying to cut out those sorts of breads and when I do have bread, have something a little bit more wholesome, a little bit more uh, healthy. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of like spicy sourdough rye sort of breads. And it's reminding me of that. And then there's this subtle jam-like sweetness. So marmalade, essentially. Essentially marmalade. Anyway, but yeah, it's a lovely beer. In fact, that bitterness has almost given it a bit of heat on the back end. Which is really interesting. It's a really interesting um, IPA, actually. Is it even an IPA? Yeah, it's an IPA. Just had to make sure. I mean, is it something that I drink a lot of? Probably not. Maybe a couple of bottles of this, just for something a little bit different. Break up the monotony of the uh, the juice generation. Um, not that I hate that, because I've, I've feel the need to say this i do enjoy those beers but i'm getting a little bit burnt out because i seem to find a lot of them at the same time but um this is it's one of those perfect antidotes for people who are getting burnt out by pop burn but um yeah lovely simple beer is it groundbreaking is it going to change your perception of brewing no but it's a really solidly brewed beer and a really humble introduction to Boxcar. So in terms of rating, I could happily give this a 7 out of 10. I'd happily try another bottle of it. Um, I'd happily have a pint of this. It's one of those sorts of beers you could just sit back and relax to. Not overly complex, but there's enough intricacies in there to make it interesting and to warrant a beer review. But uh, yeah, getting off to a really nice start with this uh, Beer 52 box. So if you've tried this one, then let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you've tried anything from Boxcar, then of course, recommendations, thoughts, opinions, always welcome. Um, if you've got this box, let me know. What have you enjoyed so far? Which ones should I make an effort to review? That sort of thing. And um, yeah, if any of my friends and fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one, I will put their reviews in the description because I know a few of the guys uh, pick up the Beer 52 boxes. And yeah, check out Boxcar, check out Beer 52, check out Brewery Anders, check out my Beer 52 playlist, check out my Beer 52 um, referral link, just Beer 52, Beer 52, sponsor me Beer 52, Beer 52, pay me Beer 52, Beer 52, I'll be a shill for you Beer 52. Um, no, I won't. I'm an honest, grassroots, blue collar. So, um, yeah, awkward ending over, turn camera off, cry self to sleep and realise just how pathetic you are in the grand scheme of things. Thank you for watching and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.